concern. And this news is actually located really close to where I live. Um, Oasis foam was discovered really close to, to uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And I think it was like 1953 they, they uh, discovered Oasis. And um, um, Mr. Smithers is the person uh, um, that discovered the, the Oasis and uh, it has uh, perpetuated over the years and they are there, the original um, foam manufacturers and they continue to this day working hard to increase the, uh, the, the formula as far as uh, longevity and, and so forth. So we have a really great foam. They're always doing research on it to make it better, uh, which is an awesome thing. Max Life Foam is a new, a new designation that you see on the boxes, which uh, is, is another formula that has, has stepped up the, the longevity for our flowers even more. So a uh, really great company with, with a good area for the long haul, as well as work, which is a great, a great thing. Really has been around uh, for, for many, many years as well, so it's great to see a pairing of uh, uh, both things. So um, I'm here to talk about wedding bouquets, and uh, we're, we strictly did wedding bouquets today, which is really, uh, for the last two days, uh, um, a great uh, fun thing to be able to just focus on one little thing. And, and uh, we're going to go through uh, some different types of, of, uh, of bouquets. But a couple things I wanted to talk about first that, that are really important as far as weddings. Um, trends, I think, are really important. You need to really uh, keep wary of the trends and see what's going on. I mean, a good example of that would be to go to, right now, Tangerine Sandwich is the color that they're telling us is the, the really hot orange color. And orange is sort of been trending for a little bit of time. But, um, turquoise was another one. You know, turquoise, we had turquoise and teal sort of uh, a while back, remember that, and it kind of went away. And, but uh, turquoise was, was hot a year or two ago, and then we also had honeysuckle, which was a, a pink. So those are great uh, indicators of where we're going as far as baseball. I mean, what great opportunities for us as forest to take our cameras and to snap photos with our, our, uh, our, our phones. I mean, our phones are taking incredible digital pictures. And so what great opportunities to upload those on Facebook and really get your customers working and talking. I mean, if you get people talking about you, um, it's a great thing. It's really a great thing. Hopefully they're saying good things about you, but you want the buzz, you want the good comments, uh, because the best type of business that we can get for weddings, especially, are referrals. I mean, that's what I'm looking for. Referrals are the best thing that they have that. And they have that in their mind. They know what you've done because people have recommended you. They see what you've done, and that way, you already have your foot in the door. So I try to really work hard for referrals. Um, especially the bridesmaids for weddings, that's really, really important because they are in the age of um, getting married. They're, they're wedding age, and so they're going to have a really good impression of your work. If you if you make sure you cover all the bases, if your your stuff looks good, you already have four, five, six, and sometimes ten uh, bridesmaids that, that potentially could be using your services. So, and that kind of tip, um, leads me into something as, as far as uh, wedding work. What I think is really important is uh, is your visual sort of impression that you're giving people. Uh, I like to deliver uh, my weddings in a, in, a, in a fashion that look really as good as I can make them. So what I do is I, uh, I'll give you a little trick that works really well for me. Um, instead of delivering things in vases, which is a pain that you broke and you have to get them back, um, I take a box, like a floral box that's probably about this, this long, uh, like a four foot by three foot box, a normal floral box that's, that's about this thick. You can use thicker ones too, but long story short, that box looks awesome. The bouquets are in that box. And I deliver that, I take it to the to the, the bride, and it just looks super. And I don't care if I get that box back. Um, I spend a little bit of time with it, but sometimes I will get it back and I can reuse them if the, if the number is right. But, you know, long story short, presentation is really important. Clothing and so forth, and be careful. You know, things like um, when you're writing wedding consultations, uh, uh, are, it's really important to present a really good uh, uh, image. I mean, sometimes uh, you, you get things like pens that have all these sayings on them, like these drug drug sayings, and I've had a couple of really embarrassing um, drugs on my pens that somebody has left um, by accident. There was a, uh, uh, we have some medical people in our area, and they left a couple of uh, Viagra pens. <laughs> and, uh, I realized when I was doing the wedding consultation, I looked down at my handwriting, and I was writing up a wedding consultation with a Viagra pen. <laughs> And so things like that, all, it's all about image, and it's really important with our flower shops to really get the right kind of image and, and referrals and build on things and do a, a really, really cool job. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Smithers, some of the things that are uh, a little bit new, and then we'll go through a couple of little techniques, and then we have all these, these product bouquets to show you. So if anybody has any questions or anything, uh, please feel free to ask questions. You know, we're, we're all here to learn and, and uh, uh, learn from each other, which is really great. And as far as design, uh, it's great to find little tips and tricks that you can pull back to your shop and make them their, your own and, and uh, just do unique and, and distinct things. And so hopefully some of these smithers things 
will do that for you. I found all kinds of really great supplies. The supply department and the fresh water department are really great here. Um, I, I think it's a treat to have both things really, really good, done well. You know, the people that are buying supplies work really, really hard to find all of these new trending things, you know, for us. And as far as the cut flowers as well, I mean, all these garden roses and really cool little varieties. And, you know, together, the, we just had pretty much anything we wanted to work with. And what a great thing that we, we could do. So so let me start with, the, with some of the Smithers things. And uh, some of it um, are things that you, you've potentially have used before. But let me start with the wire. Um, the wire uh, initially that we had uh, was, was bullion and metallic wire. All of us have probably seen and used these before, especially like this bullion wire for all kinds of really cool things. You can take this roll and you can attach this to centerpieces, tall centerpieces, glue orchids to them, um, and upsell your work and it just looks like a, a million dollars for just having a, a simple roll of bullion wire by using some glue or u glue to uh, attach some orchids or, or something. So this is really versatile for so many things in a lot of different colors. Metallic wire really similar, except it doesn't have these little crimps in it. It's a little bit thicker. Um, again, it comes in the same really great variety of colors. Uh, probably one of the original wires was regular aluminum wire, which uh, uh, comes again in, in a lot of great colors and they are constantly up up um, um, re, re um, evaluating the, the wire, which is a great thing because we're getting all kinds of really cool, unique, uh, different uh, colors that are coming along. Metal wire, which is this is a 12 gauge wire, this is 6 gauge wire, the smaller the gauge, the, the thicker, remember. This is 6 gauge metal wire, great for building structures, building armatures, all kinds of really cool things. Then we have flat wire, which is flat on one plane. Again, the same great colors, but the flat wire, you, it's a little bit different how it bends. You have to bend it on one, on one plane. You can bend it on the flat side. You can bend it on the other side, but then it kind of crimps funny. So it's a little bit different way of, of dealing with it, but um, really cool for banding and doing all kinds of fun things. And incidentally, a great way to, to be using this wire is to, to get a pair of of pliers, uh, jewelry pliers or fine needle nose pliers because you're going to be able to crimp this wire and not really smash it and give it a really bad sort of edge. Um, so get yourself a pair of pliers if you don't have that. A lot of people uh, carry them and I'm almost 100% sure they have them here at, uh, at Norley's. Um, diamond wire. This is a brand new wire. If you haven't seen this, it has the bling right in it, which is awesome. This has been a huge seller for, for Smithers Oasis and a lot of great colors. And it has a little bit of a different feel. It's 12 gauge as well. But because of the fact that it's, it has these little segments of, of these little sort of diamonds, um, it feels a little bit different, but really, really awesome. And we have beaded wire. First we had regular, regular beaded wire. Um, and then we had mega beads. And both of these have just kind of hit us with a, a vengeance. I um, really love these. We can do all kinds of really fun, fun things that you're going to see in the work that we did. So um, the only thing that, um, I have to say about this is, is um, I hope that uh, we have it for a long time because it's really cool. Um, th there's a trick for getting it off the roll. You have to be a little bit patient and find it. Um, it usually unwraps pretty easily, but every once in a while you get a, an area where you can't quite get it to come off the roll. And you just need to be patient and go around the right bead, but it usually comes off pretty well. But you get a little bit of a, a glitch every once in a while. I love these. So as far as, as uh, wires, uh, there's one other one. This is brand new. This is another type of flat wire. And they're calling it flat wire, but it's thicker flat wire. This isn't out yet, but you're going to see this really soon. It comes in, in these really great metallic sizes. And then there's, a, there's a, a thinner size with a little bit of a matte finish. So this is brand new. Get a look at this before you, you leave if you're interested. A lot of cool applications for this brand new. Um, and the other things I just wanted to talk about briefly were um, bouquet holders. Um, let me start with the newest one first. This isn't out yet, but um, this is called, they're going to call this a European bouquet holder. And there's two different sides, two different types. There's a circle and then there's a square. Um, and I believe that they're going to be making this in a smaller size for us eventually, so we'll have probably a couple of sizes to work with. But um, this is really great for something that, that you might want to do that's special, that, uh, that would be just a little bit different. It's different than other holders in a couple different ways, and I'll show you. Um, I made a bouquet later that you'll see. Um, out of this folder, but let me unwrap it here. This bouquet holder, first of all, you see that it's flat. I mean, so you, you're going to have to decide what you're going to want to do if you're going to want to do some pop A or something in it. You, um, you're going to, if you want to build something with a little bit of, of depth to it, uh, circular in the center, like we would think of as, as a regular bouquet, you're going to have to build it up with a material. 
But the cool thing about this is wherever you're putting flowers, you can have foam there, unlike a regular holder that you, we all have become used to using the holder because you have to insert the, the uh, radio insertions into a bouquet in that fashion. But this has a different feel because of this big plane of foam. And this, incidentally, is really uh, the, the best um, grade, uh, strongest grade uh, foam uh, in, in all of these holders. But the cool thing is the pack is like a, a styrofoam. So you can push anything into this. You can push pins, you can use U-glue. And so if you want to camouflage this, it happens really fast because you put the U-glue on here, you put your leaves, do whatever you want to do, it's really, really quick. And then you've got this surface here that you can put anything on the side to keep it square. You could make it round, but really cool, really different, brand new, so. The other things that uh, that we have as far as uh, bouquet holders, these Lomi uh, bouquet holders, which uh, are, have been around for, for quite a while, uh, which are, have, a, again, a, a flat surface at, at the top, but it's a little bit easier to maybe make a, a, a envision a, a round bouquet in this, but uh, we have a, a, a handle that you can, you can uh, uh, camouflage a lot of different ways with, with ribbon and so forth. This is just, just one a traditional style that we've had for a long time. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, this is my two minute product demo section. We have a smaller size. We also have uh, wedding bells, which is a little bit different shape. Sorry, I didn't open this thing. So we've mostly used wedding bells in what we've done today. We made a few hand tied bouquets, but um, this is a large wedding bell. And then there's also a grande, which is, is even larger. And they come in slant handles as well as straight handles. This is the grande. Sorry about that. A little bit bigger, you can compare. So you have a lot more room for insertions. And then the last one I'm going to show you here is a super wet, which if you're not familiar with this, and there's, there are also others. There's a, 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 a fancier handle, um, elegant bowl cable holder that, that um, has the same wicking uh, that this has, but this has a wick in it. So you can design your bouquet, put it in the cooler, in a, in a little bit of water, and it's going to wick the water right up into the bouquet. There's no added water to this. So um, the logical place to go here is many of us um, use holders. Some of us use holders and do hand ties, and some of us only do hand ties. And so uh, we mostly uh, did our things in holders. And, I, and I'll tell you, there's, it's really good, like when you're making corsages, it's good to know how to glue. It's good to know how to wire a tape. It's really good to be able to make things in, in holders because there are many advantages. Um, it's also good to be able to do hand ties for a lot of you know, obvious reasons. But um, you can do things in holders like this well in advance and put it in the cooler. And I'm going to show you a couple of things next here as far as getting the prep work done. I mean, most of us have to deal with the prep of these weddings. It's last minute. And, you know, we work really, really hard. We're on our feet a long time, and everything has to be done at the last minute, right? You can do the prep work on these bouquet holders in it well in advance. You can do them two weeks in advance. You can soak them. You can do the, the backing, and you can do the handles. Not so much on this. You know, we, I'll show you one way that you can deal with this. Um, because you have to leave this exposed so you can put this in there. But a regular bouquet holder, you certainly can do the handle way in advance. And then when you're ready to add this, the flowers to this bouquet, you're already going to have a cup of foliage that's just easy to get, get done really, really fast. Now, if you're worried about being secure in something like this, you can, um, you can be sure by using something like floral lock, which you're going to be, be um, once you finish your bouquet, you're going to be spraying this floral lock uh, right on the surface of the foam. You don't want to push this in the foam because that's, that's a no no. That's not what we're trying to do here. You want to put it on top of the foam. You want to consider this the, the candy on the candy apple. And this is the apple. You want to coat this. You want to coat the flowers and you want to coat the foam so it locks in place and don't push this in the foam. That's going to really give you added security. And more, uh, more often uh, than not, once you, you get really secure using the bouquet uh, holder, you, you generally um, it, you get really good insertions, but this is just a little added, a little added foam. 